Developing story this morning involving the crisis in Ukraine reaching a boiling point this morning. Government special forces reportedly exchanging gunfire with pro-Russian pro -Russian protesters. And ABC's Alex Marquardt is on the ground with the very latest. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Dan. A dangerous escalation here in Ukraine this morning. Ukrainian forces are carrying out what they're calling an anti-terrorist operation in an eastern Ukrainian town where yesterday two government buildings, including the police headquarters, were seized by well-armed pro-Russia gunmen. Ukraine's interior minister says at least one Ukrainian officer has been killed and five wounded. Over the past week, we've seen government buildings all across this part of Ukraine fall to armed groups who are against the new Ukrainian government in Kiev. The United States has accused Russia of being behind the unrest, and overnight, Secretary of State John Kerry spoke with his Russian counterpart and accused the armed groups of having the same uniforms and guns that the Russian forces had in Crimea when it was annexed last month. Tens of thousands of Russian troops have massed along the border with eastern Ukraine, raising fears that this growing violence here could give Russia a pretext to invade Ukraine.